When you want to create discussions, you first click on the link Discussion and Private Messages, and if it's a brand new shell, you'll see this. You already have two categories, Main and Other, and within those you have Forums, Questions, Class Discussions, and Student Lounge. Now, you can add to these, or you can eliminate them and start with a blank slate. Let me show you how to eliminate all of them and, and just begin anew. You can't go from top down, that is, eliminate a category, then a forum, then a topic. You have to go from bottom up. So before you can eliminate any forums, you have to eliminate the topics. Well, here you see there is no topics. So the first thing we need to do is to eliminate the discussions, and then we'll eliminate the category. So to do that, let's go to Manage, because that's where we always head to manage our forums and our categories and our discussions. Um, and first we click here where it says Manage Forums. And we'll see we have several of them here. And we're going to click those questions, class discussions, student lounge, and select delete. Then we're going to go over to manage categories. And since there are no discussions under them, we can eliminate them. And we're going to eliminate the main and the other. We're going to delete those. Now, if we go back to our discussion homepage, it's completely blank. We have nothing there. So now we're starting with a clean slate. To add them, let's go back over to Manage. And we're going to add a category. So we need to manage the categories first. And clicking Add a Category. And we may type this one as Introduction. Introduction to the class. Let's assume. And we can grade it, get points, and so on. But we're not going to do that. I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to do that at the forum level. So I'm going to save that. So now I have a category. Now I want to add a forum to that category where students introduce themselves. To do that, I'll manage forums. I'll add a forum. And I'm going to call it Class Introductions. Oh, there it is, and it pops right up. Now I have to select the category that I want to put that forum in. This may be later on in the semester, and you may have several categories, and you always have to let it know which of the, of the categories you want to put it in. Here we only have one, so it's pretty easy, and I'll put introduction to class. I can open and close it on certain dates. Here, I suggest you put reply only. That way, a student can't start a whole new thread. They have to follow after your initial post. Recent is, is good. I'm going to allow access to all site participants. I can enable post starring, and if I click that, that way it, it's like Facebook when somebody likes something. Here you can give a star to someone's discussion that, if you appreciate it, kind of like a little reward for them. If I had the class divided into groups, I could do it selected groups, but I don't have that yet. And now I'm going to grade it. So under grading, I'm going to click Enabled. And I'm going to grade by forum, so each post that they put in the forum. And I'm going to give it 20 points. And I'm going to ask them to do three posts, their initial post and respond to two of their classmates. Now, on the course map, they won't get a green check by this task until they've done all three posts. And then I'm going to go ahead and send it to Gradebook. And then I'm going to click Save. Now I have a forum within the, the uh, category. Now I want to add a topic to that, and that way I just I go to the original page, the discussion home page, and here I can see my one category and my, my forum class introductions. I click class introductions, and where it says new topic, I click that. And I'm just going to put in introductions. If I spell it right, there we go. And then here with the editor box, I'll just I'm going to go I'm going to go introduce yourself, but I would write much more if this was a regular one. If I was actually doing this for my class. Now I scroll down and here's a big tip. Always click I'll reuse. That way this discussion will be transferred to your next class when you transfer from uh, one site to another site. And if I wanted to attach anything I could, but I don't. I'm just going to post it now. And there's my my post. So now if I go back to discussion home, you'll see it has the category introduction of class, it has class introductions, and it has a topic there. And this is how you eliminate the old discussions and create new ones. Again, you eliminate from the bottom up, first topics, then forums, then categories. But when you create it, you create it from the top down. Categories, then a forum, then a topic.